we are back at Dollar Tree. Um, we have another hurricane coming through. Hurricane Michael has made its way up to North Carolina and it's raining and windy and gross and we have no power in my house so I decided to go order pizza. So while I wait, let's go in there. Now this is very disturbing. I, I just came in and we've been through here before and uh, we looked at the Halloween stuff. This is kind of cool. Creepy cloth. It's quite a bit of it. 30 inches by 72. And it's only a dollar. It's really nice. Um, I like that. It looks like they only have it in black, but it's really cool. Um, yeah, most of this we've seen already. They have these little neat painting sets. A little Frankenstein's monster there. Oh, I think we did look at that. I don't remember if we saw this before. It changes depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we've actually seen a lot of this. You can even get you can get a 12 pack of glow-in-the-dark vampire teeth. These are well, if you have kids, you know those things are gross. They end up leaving them in your back seat, and it's yeah, nasty. Little bubble sticks. These are cute. Four of those for a dollar. You can get eyeballs. Look at that. Oh, it's those. These are poppers. Like you. They're made of that. Oh, no. Well, I don't know if they are or not. I don't. You can turn them inside out and set them on a table and they pop back out. It's pretty cool. In this little basket. Yeah, so we already looked at all that, but what was kind of weird, what is sort of disturbing is that, okay, we have Halloween stuff here. And then look. Bam. Christmas in your face. Christmas in your face. Look at that. We, you know, so... <laughs> We have Halloween. I love these skulls. Ha, 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 ha. And it lights up. So we do have a little bit of Halloween here, and then you just go kaboom. Christmas just blew up on this wall over here. We have... It almost makes me think of St. Patrick's Day, just all the green, but it's, it's actually not... Yeah, I know. We're looking at Christmas stuff. Don't judge me. I like the blue one. That's a pretty color. I like that. What's this? They have little sticks. The little, you know, little, little things. And it's a spinning, bent, spinning snowflake. <laughs> Ooh, and little mailboxes, too. These are cool. I know y'all might not want to look at Christmas, but some people might. I'm already thinking about it. Um... I'm looking forward to doing my tree this year. If y'all saw any of my videos from last Christmas, you know that I bought a bunch of blue and silver ornaments the day after Christmas, and I'm gonna do my tree in all blue and silver this year. I've been doing red and gold for the last few years. Like, I could put these on there. These would be pretty. I'm gonna do all blue and silver on my tree this year. Those are cool, I like those. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, these are cute little um little wire Christmas trees with a jingle bell. That's neat. And then they have bigger jingle bells right here in gold, silver, and white. Oh, and red too back there. And a little Santa Claus. Ooh, that's neat. They have that in that gold color, and they also have this white one, which actually goes down here. And this doesn't go there either. This goes somewhere else. That is really pretty. Look at that. It has a giant rhinestone in the middle of it. Um, but it goes over there. These are pretty. I think they're all pretty. That's nice. Yeah, I'm, I've already bought all my ornaments, so I don't really need to buy any more right now. Here's a hat. Where did this come from? I know I'm looking right at it. I don't know. All these little cute stars. Look at that. And snowflakes too with little jingle bells on them. I don't know where this hat came from. I'm, it's probably right in here somewhere. I'll just hang it up there. That's pretty. Very shiny. That's some big old ornaments there. This one's pretty. That would have looked really good on my tree last year. I did all red and gold. So, but they do have candy. Like, there's the Christmas is just encroaching upon everything over here. Um, 
pretty ribbon. You have a little skinny ribbon too, like this. Glitter stickers. These are cool. I like these glitter stickers. That's all right. But we do have some Halloween candy here a little bit. We have Tiger Pops. Little swirly popsicles. And oh god, I used to love these when I was a kid. These are so good. I'm gonna have to take a bag of those home. Uh, loot bags. All your little treat bags. Smarties. Not a terribly big bag, but it's only a dollar. Yeah, we looked at, um, I think we already looked at all this stuff, but that's okay. Sixlets, chocolatey. They can't call it chocolate because it actually isn't. Ch well, chocolatey candies. Because <laughs> it's not real chocolate. I don't know what it is, like brown wax or something. Little wings. Okay, let's go look at something else. That's, I mean, I don't, what I don't understand is when we were in here last time, they had harvest. It said happy harvest or something up there. We haven't even gotten into fall type stuff yet. And they've already taken all of that down and replaced it with this. It's outrageous. And all the flowers that were over here before, all the fall flowers, they're gone. They're all replaced now with this stuff. Although I will admit that's kind of pretty. <laughs> that's kind of cool looking. I like it. And this too. That's like, um, almost like little miniature Queen Anne's lace or something. Pretty. I mean, it's nice, but don't get me wrong, but dang. You can even get spray painted gl on a glittery pine cones in gold and silver. Neat. So they have... This is all, I guess, just like Christmas type stuff. So I don't know where all the fall stuff went. And they even have Christmas stuff over here too. Great day. I just, ugh, I'm not ready for that, no. Christmas socks, oh, these are cute though, look. Little, little tree, little Santa. And they have Christmas scarves, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> look at these knee socks. A big old owl. He looks terrified. <laughs> Owls always look like that. Just completely blown away by something. Oh, this is a necklace. Look, it's a, a light up necklace with those big bulbs. If y'all are as old as me, you remember when everybody had those great big light bulbs on their trees that would get uncomfortably hot. And it's kind of scary. Here's a solar window candle. Now that's neat. You don't have to put batteries and stuff in it. Seems like you would need several though or it wouldn't really show up very well. And more Christmas stuff. Ooh, look how shiny that is. It's so sparkly. Now I like that. Well, let's not look at that. And we were over here before. Makeup. They have cleansing nose strips. It's like that charcoal stuff. I've never tried this kind. I've tried the Biore charcoal strips. Honestly, I didn't see anything outstanding about them. I didn't think they were any better any better than the regular nose strips. And then we have nail polish here. It's not like organizing nail polish at Walmart. There's really not as much to do here. But there are a few things out of out of place like uh, this one, 424, which goes here and here's a green one number 506 which goes there these are 511 little pretty fuchsia color I like that color this is 527 that goes in there actually all of these are 527 all of these go in this box. And they're not gonna fit. This is oh, it's really full. It's a little crowded in here right now. Um, I think a lot of people in, in this part of town are out of power. Um, from looking on our power company's website, it looks pretty pretty widespread. 
while I'm waiting for pizza, I thought I would come over here and look at stuff. And look at these cute little antacid bottles. My goodness. Like if you straighten them, like put them, put them there like that. Now you could do one, two, three, and then a fourth one. Like that. And then bring them up. Try to keep them straight. There. Yeah. And then we have vitamin E, a bottle. That's a four ounce plastic bottle. We could do, we could comfortably do two rows of those. Mm -hmm. And then you have saline nasal spray. You could do two rows of those. Just bring them up. It's kind of like that roses we went to. Um, I don't think they organize these sections very often. I have hydrocortisone cream here. Yeah, it's very full. <laughs> we have extra back there, and then we have it's like, uh, like the generic Vicks Vapo Rub, but I think this may be the only one. I don't see any other ones, so we're just gonna put it there. Um, by itself. So then we have eye drops. I'm not sure how much room to leave for the vapor rub, the chest rub. So we could do, it looks like they only had two rows of this, of the eye drops. We might want to leave it that way just, just because I don't know how many rows they want. <sighs> the, bo the box is kind of wobble because of the bottle of eye drops in there. See? You can just bring those over and then slide these up. Like that. Just straighten them a little bit. Well, it's better than it was. And Oh, we have bandages here. These are fabric bandages. bandages. It's knuckle and fingertip. And there are no strips here to really show you where these go, so I'm just having to kind of guess. I would do two rows of those, but I don't know if something else is supposed to go here. Then we have these sheer bandages here, and it's an assortment. They even have Jurassic World bandages. That's cool. We'll get to those in a minute. And then we have nasal strips. There's one back there that fell over. Like that. Okay. And nasal relief spray. I guess that's like, um, oh, what's it called? Afrin? Yeah. I remember when I worked in retail pharmacy when I was in college, we had um, a customer who was, no, we had two different customers who was kind of hooked on Afrin nasal spray and every time we had it on sale they would come in and buy every bit of it that we had. They carried it with them everywhere. There were two different people and they carried it with them everywhere and used it like constantly. I don't think that's really good for you to do that but I can't tell you what to do. Oh, oh that was my fault. These boxes are wobbly. I'm not going to be able to do the tears, the artificial tears. Hold on a second. Because see, it's first you have a clip strip of gummy vitamins in the way, and then the nasal spray too. So I'm not going to be able to do it thoroughly, like I'm one handed here. But I'm going to bring up some of these here. Like that. Just try to, it's kind of hard to get to because they have two clip strips right here. And, Kind of a bummer, but these boxes are wobbly too. I'll even pick up that eye drop thing I dropped there. All right, put these in there. There. I don't want to put them too close to the edge. Slide them over a little. Okay. 
Um, here we have bottles of aspirin, just plain old aspirin. We could do one, two, three, four, and then five, but it, you have to slide it back a little bit because of this thing. And then you just bring them forward and you try to keep the label facing front so people can see what it is. milk of magnesia bottles here if you've ever had to drink it you know it's really gross we have two rows of those it's basically tastes like liquid chalk it's really nasty okay the band-aids are tough because you see I don't have a lot of room to reach in there if I had two hands it would be easier oops and Boxes of band-aids are hard because they're very lightweight and they fall over very easily. They topple, you see. But I will straighten them a little bit if I can. We have Barbie band-aids, we have Despicable Me band-aids. Let's see here what I can do. They are cute though. Isn't that a cute little box? Oh. And then we have down here Curad gauze pads. I'm going to take it out of this box. Set that out of the way. And then see this box we can pull forward and we can actually pull these forward as well. These are extra large plastic band-aids here. And we're just going to stick them down in there. And pull this one forward and put these in front of it there. I'm going to get down here where I can see better. And here we have Curad alcohol prep pads. You could about do your own surgery with supplies that you can find at Dollar Tree, but I won't be making a video about that. Not until I lose my health insurance, then we might be doing some like, do it yourself <laughs> medical procedures. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Don't try that at home. These are sheer antibacterial bandages. There's a whole army of them back there. Look at all those boxes and this fabric bandage that goes there. See, and these are the antibacterial ones. Germ fighting protection, it says. There's a lot of them back there. They go all the way back to the wall. It's tough. There you go. And then these are just fabric, regular fabric bandages here. Boy, it's a bunch, isn't it? Oh, they have colorful bandages as well. That's cool. ones. We have blue ones, purple ones, and green ones. And you get 30, and it looks like they're all one size. Let me grab these real quick. These are clear, waterproof bandages. I wonder how well those work. I have some Band-Aid brand waterproof ones that I really like, but those are cheaper. They might work. I don't know. I've never tried them. Here we have some supplements like uh, vitamin D. It actually doesn't go there. 
Where does that go? Vitamin B. Super B. Fish oil. Vitamin B12. Ginseng. Vitamin C. I don't know where this goes. Calcium. Weight control. I'm going to set that in purgatory because I don't really know. Let's see. Super B. Let's remove that box. Let's see what we got back here. Super B complex. That's fish oil. That goes down here. Where did I see the fish oil? Right there. Sorry. These are all Super B. So, there's that vitamin D. It keeps wanting to jump up here. Super B. They sound really small. And then we can put these three in front. The vitamin D. I keep picking it up. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Fish oil. Let's do it like that. Glucosamine joint therapy. Bring that up. There's some vitamin B12. That's this right here. Let's grab those back there. This is vitamin B12. Got a lot of vitamin B12. Look at all that. Mm, tons of it. Now this is vitamin B12. This is vitamin E. Um, that's a glucosamine that goes up there. Here's another vitamin B12. Vitamin D. Here, let me get this out of the way. There's the vitamin D. Oh, I've done it now. That's vitamin D right there. That's what that is. Ginseng. Just do it like that. Vitamin C. What's this? Glucosamine. That is over there. This is all glucosamine. This is the wrong spot for this. We already have a box of glucosamine. I don't think this stuff is put up in any certain way. I think it's just like, put it wherever it'll go. <laughs> That's acidophilus. So is that. Here. I'll move these out of the way. And there's more acidophilus. vitamin E. It's weird. Well, you're going to go in purgatory then. Weight control. I don't know what's in that. What is in it? Iodine and less lecithin and vitamin B6. Hair, skin, and nails. That's this one. Laxative. That goes right there. Oops, that's why it's down there. It kept falling. Can't even really get to it. I wish I had two hands. I would be able to straighten better. Women's daily vitamins. And we'll just leave that box there. Melatonin. We're just gonna do that. Energy tabs. And 
And there's this vitamin E, but I don't see any other vitamin E. So I'll put it down there. This is vitamin C. Oops. Vitamin C. I messed up. Oh. Well, no, it's not perfect. I know. I know. I tried. <laughs> I tried. What's this over here? Oh, we have, I think we uh, straightened this before. Pregnancy tests go over here. They have lots of pregnancy tests. Look at all these tests. Goodness gracious. Um, and I love all the pill organizers they have. These are so cool. These are cool. Cough and chest. Congestion. Stuff. There. And that's like generic NyQuil right there. Pink bismuth. Dismal, which is also gross. Just slide those up a little bit. What do we have over here? A mess. Is what, we have a mess over here. That's what we have. You can tell they don't straighten it very often, which is none of my business. Aspirin. What's this? This is also aspirin. I think that's chewable aspirin. Hmm. I always like to kind of have a couple up front like that. Just, and then back there, I, I can't even reach it because these things are in the way. <laughs> there is um, acetaminophen back there, but it's almost impossible to get to like it's <laughs> trapped see it's this stuff there's a velociraptor in here either that or it could be a tiny opera singer or a seagull I'm really not sure ibuprofen boy this seems to be a popular one See, they even try to make it look like the the brand name. I'm just trying to move it up a little. And then we have um, this is like Motrin, a little orange package. Makes me think that. And allergy relief. Down here. Whoops. Now oh, look what I did. I messed up. I'll try to straighten these out. I don't want to leave it messier than when I came. That's a good rule to have in life. Always leave things nicer than you found them. If you can. two hours I could I could do better <laughs> here is some Tylenol with Benadryl acetaminophen with diphenhydramine all-day pain relief that is naproxen sodium which is generic bleed daytime which is um, generic for day quill Generic NyQuil. It's difficult to reach back there to get all of it sometimes. So, I mean, yeah. It's a little better, isn't it? It's a little better. Here's some displays of Blistex. Looks like they haven't quite got them put out yet. Looks like they're going to put them somewhere. We even have cough drops and a wrist support, which goes right there. And an ankle support, which goes there. And the menthol eucalyptus cough drops go right here. That's honey lemon. 
Oh, the deodorants. Oh, if, I wish I had time to do the deodorants. I really don't. That looks like fun. But maybe next time we can do the deodorants. But right now we have this part. And it's better than it was. So, thank you so much for coming in here and helping me organize and looking around at stuff. I'll see you again really soon.